Are Egyptologists lying about ancient Egypt? In 2012, Zahi Hawass and the Egyptian government conducted research on Ramses III's mummy. It was the first study of this quality on royal mummies. They discovered that the king was murdered through a plot fomented by one of his wives. The results were widely publicized, but some key details remain hidden. The relationship between the king and a nearby mummy was determined using genetic kinship analyses. The man was Ramses' son. Both were Y DNA one b one carriers. The most common haplogroup in Black Africa. Surprisingly, that info never made the news. Something unusual, since they've been flooding us with studies on non-royal mummies lately. A decade later, Zahi Hawass admitted that the skulls and complexions of Chemites resembled those of black Africans. Could be looks like African. No, they were dark skin, but they were not black. But they're not nigger. And we now know he is aware that many Egyptian pharaohs were genetically linked to black Africans. Regardless, he insists that they were not black. So, yes, experts are lying about chemists.